At Woodside K-8 School, we're really focused on making it a safe learning community for everyone. Um, and one of the biggest aspects about that is our zero tolerance for any bullying. If you ever experience any of that, students, you need to let us teachers know, um, let your parent know, get an adult involved in what's going on, even if you think that someone's being teasing about it. If it goes on and it gets to the point where you're not feeling safe at school, then we need to deal with it. Um, we do strive to work collaboratively with the parents and the students and other members of our staff uh, for your student's success. And then every trimester, the beginning of the year especially, we'll be going over goals that students will come up with on their own um, based on whatever they think their need is academically as well as perhaps personally. And we can use things like grades and star test results and such. Um, and those will be completed in history. Here are the key points for the safe environment that we want at Woodside K-8 School. Um, the three basic words we use are safe, respectful, and responsible. And I see that in lots of schools, lots of districts as I travel throughout the state. So it's nothing unusual, but it's certainly something that we want everybody to feel and how we want them to act when they're at our school. Professional language means no swearing. You know, eighth graders, that's something you might be able to get away with in certain aspects of your life, but please not here at school. The last thing we want is little kindergartners and first graders taking home words that they learn from a, a middle school kid, all right? And I already talked about the zero tolerance for teasing and bullying. Um, dress code is enforced, and we will usually give a student a warning by allowing them to put on some borrowed clothes or call home for something, or if it's a t-shirt that's inappropriate, turn it around. Um, if it continues to be a bad uh, part of what's going on, then we will handle it other ways. And you have a new discipline matrix in your parent handbook, which gives us a pretty general outline of how unfortunate behaviors can be um, dealt with. But let's try to stay away from those as much as possible. There's your school times. Um, eighth graders, when we come on campus at 745, that bell will ring. And we're just to be outside of basically my room. It would be great. You're not really supposed to hang out. Um, in front of C2 or down below C1 because we need to keep that open for people. We want you in front of my room or C4 and 5 in that general area. And parent volunteers are needed for driving and field trips and such and we'll need them for chaperones at dances. Um, I know some students aren't always thrilled about that but hey someone's got to sit there and watch the doors and make sure we're being safe. And as far as dances go we started to initiate this last year. We started to initiate it. Yeah we did. Um, we initiated it last year, and it was starting to get pretty effective with students. There were some disappointed students at the end of the year not being able to attend some pretty important things like the dinner and the dance because they had been not doing their best towards their grades. So let's really work hard to make sure that we earn those fabulous things that nobody wants to miss out at the end of the school year and certainly the other dances we have throughout the year. There's a lot of them. Look at my website. And here you see a lot of things that I went over um, in my introduction. I do want open communication. We do want structure and consistency, you know, for kids to be able to do things at home, um, as well as school. Homework support, for my class, that means helping people make sure they're reading and um, looking at all the videos they need to look at throughout the year. You can do that by going on Zangle. Looking at Schoology 2, which we've already talked about, so... Um, students, you are responsible for your own learning, and if you take charge of it, you should do very well. Now to the PE portion, and you know, if we have to have a parent conference where we talk about you not getting a passing grade in PE, I'm going to be very shocked and disappointed. Um, because really, there's just a few things you have to do to do well in PE, and basically you show up with your... Um, PE clothes on and do the best you can, you get an A in the class, all right? If you, if you look at Mr. Deal's grading, um, grading policy, he does give written assessments. Um, if you were here last year, you were introduced to that, and I know it was a shock from what you were um, experiencing before, but get used to it because this is the way it's going to be in your high school as well. Um, and you have to have a folder, you know about that. Personal responsibility, do need to be on time, dressing down quickly getting out there, following rules, um, respecting other people that are playing the different games that you're going to be playing. 
He does units here, which I think you found, hopefully, to be pretty enjoyable. Maybe some of them weren't your favorite, um, but he has quite a few interesting things going on, and they'll be listed later. And he does have to grade you on fitness as well. Um, and you can see some of the points down there. You get 10 points daily. You can lose points. If you go to the office, you can say goodbye to your 10 points. Um, if you don't participate well, you can lose five. If you don't dress down, you lose five. And, you know, those two right there can lead to Fs right away if, if that's your consistent behavior. But I know Mr. Deal's very good at contacting parents if he sees that that's going to be happening. And we want to stay away from refusing to participate in disrespect and defiance. should be very little of that going on. Your PE class routine, daily. You're to put your backpack along the wall of their prior classroom. This is a little different than the things might have been for you last year. I'm not sure how it was handled in seventh grade. Um, you will then complete a warm-up with stretching and muscular strengthening exercises. Once a week, you'll participate in various cardiovascular endurance runs, usually the mile run, but I know he does some other things as well, um, pacer and such. Each one is graded on the run standards and or their improvement from previous times. Twice a week, they will learn or practice concepts of whatever sporting unit they're on, and then once a unit, they will complete a written assessment in relation to a sport or health-related topic. Um, and those are usually, like he's stressing there, based on health or the current game that they're playing. And finally, there is a PE dress code. Basically, you want to be wearing clothes that allow you to participate um, easily in physical education activities. And if you look at this page, crew neck shirts are what he's looking for. Athletic shorts. School dr length dress code is applying. Sweatshirt or sweatpants if it's getting cold. Doesn't want pajamas. Um, socks with lace shoes. Nothing worse than trying to run around and your shoe comes flying off. Um, and your woodside clothing can be purchased today at the CF wing and throughout the year. Just go to the office. Um, changing areas. There are two different changing areas for both males and females. And we need you to get to those quickly, get changed, put everything back into your backpack, get a drink, and then leave your backpack outside. Um, and then for your units of structure of instruction, these seem pretty cool. There will be cooperative, cooperative activities, basketball, tennis, and pickleball, fitness testing, volleyball. I have no idea what speed mitten is, but it sounds like fun. Um, square dancing and line dancing. You know what? I hated it, but I loved it when I was in school, so you'll understand. Um, track and field, ultimate frisbee, one of my favorites. Soccer is really cool. Flag football, circuit training, lacrosse, awesome. I think he bought a whole bunch of lacrosse stuff this year. Cool. Um, adventure racing, capture the flag, tie bow, kickball, volleyball. Each unit lasts typically for two to four weeks, so you'll be engaged in moderate to vigorous physical activity at least three days a week.